guys welcome to back to my channel if you're new i'm sydney this is gonna be like i don't know how many days of my life just like a vlog it might be a week of my life it might be a couple days um it's monday night right now i just got home from dylan my boyfriend's family thanksgiving because i'm from canada so it's thanksgiving right now stop bothering the cat um normally i would probably just stay at his house but i'm watching the dogs because my parents are away Sadie? Oh my goodness. Um, so there's that. Um, I work tomorrow. Yay. I'm wearing these leggings from Lulu. I already picked them, which I'm really upset about with my nail because my nail fell off. Like that's my natural nail, but I have like a little bit of um, gel for them and then gel polish. It's just like I do them myself because I have an aesthetics license. So I originally went to school for aesthetics. And right now I'm in school. I'm taking early childhood education. I'm taking early childhood education right now at um, like college, community college. But I'm doing a program so like it's paid for because I'm currently working in like a, the school system. I'm in pre-primary. So I work, which is like before you start school called pre-primary so like they're all four three four or five still recovering from a cold if you watched my last video i had no voice um my main goal is to help people like feel better about themselves or just like help people um like make people happy because when i was like 15 like my like pre-teen years i'd say like when i was 16 i had like kind of my first my like first spiritual awakening or something like that and I just like got a lot more confident and got over like myself I guess I was very insecure and very um depressed when I was like a preteen and then when I kind of was like 16 was when I started reading self-help books and listening to podcasts and ever since then I've been kind of more I suffer from anxiety and I have really bad um PMDD which is premenstrual dysphoric disorder which honestly like i feel like i should go to the doctor about because i find i thought i was bipolar before i got diagnosed with pmdd i find my pmdd like i'm just getting off of my period now my period is ending um and i find i get like manic and i don't want to i don't want to say i'm manic because i can't diagnose that i don't feel comfortable saying i'm manic but i just like have I'm a very like calm I don't do anything crazy I literally am a grandma I go to bed super early but then when like right the week my period is ending I get these thoughts or these ideas um to do some pretty like to do some destructive things and I don't know if that's just I'm sorry if you can hear the dogs eating um but I just feel like I don't really ever act on them but like I could so I don't I don't know it's cool right now I have no idea what I want to do with my life I like right now my school's paid for so I feel like there's no point of dropping out or anything just because I don't feel a hundred percent about it like some days I love my job and sometimes I hate my job and I feel like that's pretty normal and like I want to be I was wanting to be an elementary school teacher and then I wanted to be a speech pathologist. I still, speech pathology is like top of my list if I'm gonna become anything. But I just feel like my, my personality has changed so much in the past every like year it changes. So then like the career I wanna do changes and I've always liked making YouTube videos so I'm just going to start making YouTube videos more and like not caring what people think because I made I, I made YouTube videos like starting when I was 15. I started making videos really when I was like 13 or 14. I just never uploaded them and they, I filmed them on my iPad and then I asked for a, a camera for Christmas so I could make a YouTube channel and I never uploaded videos because I was a perfectionist but I think it was like you know like an excuse and that's how I got like I wouldn't say I'm great at editing, but that's how I know how to edit. And so, here I am. Um, another thing I started doing recently is skin cycling. Recently as in yesterday. So today's my, 
Um, Mondays are like my tretinoin night and I have been doing it like once a week for a couple months now. I don't use nearly as much tretinoin as like I'm sent. I'm sent a new tretinoin every two months and I haven't even gotten through the first one and I think I'm like almost done my prescription so I should check that. Just use Felix online if you're in Canada. I That's how I got my tretinoin. Yeah, I did exfoliation last night. So if you want more information, I'll like link the person who invented skin cycling down below. But it's basically exfoliation. Then the next night's retinol. Tretinoin is retinol. And then you do basically two nights of recovery and then you start all over again. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning now. Good morning. I am tired. I did not sleep good last night at all. I need to make breakfast and I need to give the dogs a pill. But like, I did not sleep good at all last night. I honestly kept waking up and just like having little tiny panic attacks. So just about work and there's like a few other things going on that are stressing me out there's always something stressing me out but anyway yeah i didn't sleep good last night i'm tired i i don't know what i'm gonna wear today this is like what i wore to bed it's just dylan's hoodie and i'm wearing dylan's boxers because that's like what i like to wear to bed this is my makeup i don't really wear makeup a lot to work it's just sunscreen it's the um goop glow screen and clear brow gel and a little bit of Kosas concealer because I have um, a little pimple coming in and then Aquaphor I got Aquaphor yesterday for my lips and for my eyes because I have like this eye rash going on I don't know if you could see it in my last video and it's helped a lot these dogs are so jumpy because my mom's not here I'm just gonna have a little container I find when I um, eat at work I get really bloated and like I think it's because I'm stressed constantly when I'm at work and that's I don't know um another thing with the job I have is so like I start work at 7 30 but the kids like we have to go get them off site and come back and we don't get back till nine quarter to nine at the earliest and the first break is at nine so if you have first break I said we might strike, right? Did I say that? We might strike. Today's the final day for the strike vote. So if we strike, I won't have to work until they force us to go back to work. I don't think that anyone's going to be striking for very long um, because all those children need somewhere to go, realistically. So I feel like the school board is going to force us to go back to work. But we don't, like, now that I know that Lululemon makes more money than me it's like frustrating because i'm not saying lululemon's easier than my job but my job's equivalent or harder like there's like i'm going to school for free right now because nobody wants to be an ece and it's like well no duh if you're gonna pay us less than someone at lululemon makes and like i don't even this is another horrible fear i have I don't know how inclusive Lululemon is, and I don't know if they hire people that aren't super skinny. 
I'll talk to you guys when I get home from work. Hello, I just got home. Um, today I'll show you my outfit because I'm probably gonna change soon. I wore this green sweater from Airy. They definitely don't have it. It's from last year. Um, I had a kid tell me I looked like a leprechaun today. I keep saying leprechaun. I don't know what leprechaun. Maybe she said leprechaun. And then I just have airy um, lined leggings that have pockets. If I was really thinking I shouldn't have worn um, pants with pockets with a sweater with pockets because I have sweaters without pockets and leggings without pockets and I need pockets to have my phone with me. But, oh well, I didn't have a protein shake because I had, contrary to my belief, I had um, late break doubled up on breaks so i had a break with one of my coworkers, and we um went and got coffee at a coffee shop so it was super nice so that was super nice so we went and got coffee and then i still had time to eat my lunch i got a dirty chai I have a bit of a headache but i think it's because i had no water today other than my liter in the morning so and like a little bit of this so i'm gonna drink this um and maybe start some school work kind of chill out for a little get my head feeling better I need to do some schoolwork I need to tidy up and I need to cook today those are my three big things oh and edit my video my last video because I the video I uploaded before this is not edited yet when I'm filming this but yeah I just wanted to give you an update before I got into maybe some cozies and I should have bought lotion I meant to stop at shoppers yeah, that's kind of my little update. It was a good day at work. Um, we might be striking. I don't know what I've told you and what I haven't. We might be striking and the vote comes in at five o'clock tonight. And um, we have 48 hours to strike. So the latest that we'll strike is Friday, I guess. Like Friday will be the first day of the strike at the latest. Um, potentially tomorrow, but I don't think that they're gonna work that fast. I think that's kind of exciting like I love the drama of it all um, and ECEs that work in daycare today they got like new wages so we're hoping that that helps us out because that's why we're striking we don't get paid enough cycling right now so I just showered and washed my face I wash my face with I double cleanse because I don't cleanse in the morning um, in the morning I just tone my face with the Kiehl's ultra facial toner I don't know if I love this I wouldn't like recommend to go run and buy it um, and then I just use this moisturizer again wouldn't recommend to go run and buy it I just bought it because it was cheap and quick um, it's the CeraVe, CeraVe, CeraVe moisturizing cream. I have very dry skin. I feel like I would rather, I want to get the pharmacy like halo moisturizer because I hear a lot of good things and I have very dry skin. Um, in the night, in the shower, I cleanse my face with the Oat Cleansing Balm by the Inky List. I love this. Um, I like the Green Clean, but the Green Clean by Pharmacy has like a scent and kind of a tingle. Whereas that's very neutral. And then, after I wash my face with that, I use the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid Cleanser. Very much loving this as well. I had originally bought the, Cer it's over there, the CeraVe, CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. And I thought I liked that, but I don't. I leave it in my shower for Dylan. Um, then I just sprayed, so I washed my face like that, got out of the shower, and then I sprayed the Tower 28. I just bought a little one of this, the SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. I think I like it. I don't know. I just bought this a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. I just bought a mini as I was going through the checkout because I've been wanting to try. So I just sprayed that on my face. I covered my eyes because if you have not noticed, I have like a rash on both of my eyes. I have dermatitis. And I get it on my lips in the winter. I think the lips are like an anxiety thing because I lick them. And my eyes just are always like that. They're very sensitive. So, I'm doing skin cycling 
so I did everything I just told you um, and on the first night it's exfoliation so I use this as my exfoliant right now it's the Ferulic Brew Rejuvenating Facial Essence I'm like out of breath because um, I'm talking so fast and it has Ferulic Ferulic I don't I'm an esthetician, believe it. Anyway, I use this. I just um, put on my hand, dab it all over my face. Um, and then the second night, I do that and then I just put my moisturizer on. Second night is um, retinol. I have a tretinoin prescription. It's all faded. It's from um, Felix. I really don't go through this as fast as my prescription is for. I, but yeah, I went, I've been using this once a week, so I feel like now that I'm doing skin cycling, it's like every four days in rotation, and I think that that's gonna be a good amount. So I did moisturizer that, and then moisturizer again. And for tonight, then you have two nights of repair, so tonight I'm going to use this um, Sycopair Serum by Dr. Jert. Um, Another, I use a whole syringe vial. I don't remember to do your skincare down your neck. Oh, another thing that's really important, um, like I said this morning, was, and I'm going with my moisturizer, um, you need to use SPF. So now that I have all that on, I'm going to do an experiment. Um, I bought Aquaphor, and I've been using it on my eyes and my lips, and it's been fabulous and now I'm going to use it all over my face she's on there like swimwear I'm gonna sleep this on and I will give you an update in the morning I'll talk to you guys in the morning I probably look the exact same from last night but it's the morning now and I don't know how I feel about sleeping I think good don't want to go outside, of course, right when I start filming. All I do for makeup for work is Glow screen, which isn't even really makeup, um, clear brow gel, and Kosas concealer. And I don't even do concealer under my eyes, I just put it on like, I'm gonna put it like right there. show you my outfit real quick but I might end up running away because of it um these earrings it's my first time wearing them but my gold hoops I lost like the back for and so when I was looking for a back I found these earrings like I remember to add them they're from H&M they're really just like cheapy plastic I also fixed this nail last night remember how that fell off did I show you um and then I'm just wearing obviously this is just my purse but this um brown um brown it's long sleeve well like three quarter sleeve it's a shirt it's not a bodysuit i got it just thrifting um and then this pink cardigan from american eagle which is actually my mom's and then my jeans are um abercrombie and then my hair is just in this braid and that's the look <laughs> 